So most of us have gotten rid of that dense fog that was around earlier this morning, but there are still exceptions. Frederick County, Thermont, and Frederick both still have visibilities down to two miles here as we get into the early afternoon. That fog has just been stubborn in a few locations, but now that is the only locations that are seeing that fog continue. Check out the satellite and radar picture here again. Clouds have persisted across the four state region. We had this area of rainfall try to nudge into northern Virginia just to the west of the DC metro, but it really did dissipate pretty quickly. Maybe even just a few sprinkles down that direction, but there is still rain down to our south in central Virginia. And as we go over the next couple of hours, we are going to see that rain start to make its way closer and closer to the area, arriving as we get into the late afternoon and early evening later. Later on, so you may want to have that rain gear handy later. If you're in northern Virginia, southern Maryland, as you go further north and west, you're not going to be seeing that rainfall as we are likely to stay dry. Now, the remnants of beta causing all of this rain will be clearing slowly tomorrow, so we'll get the rain out of here in the morning, and then eventually the clouds will also start to clear out as we get later into the day. But then, after a couple of dry days over the weekend, we're talking about daily rain chances back in the forecast starting Monday, and they are likely to continue as a, an elongated cold front sets up to our west throughout much of the week. Checking it out here on Future Track. Again, we are talking about those, that rain just to our south, but building northward over the next few hours into the late afternoon. This has nudged a little bit north on Future Track, but again, we are going to have a hard time getting that precip to reach the surface the further north that you go. But across northern Virginia and also down to the south of D, the D.C. Metro and even Montgomery County, we can get some of that rain to actually accumulate as we go through the late evening to early overnight time frame. But all of this starts to clear out tomorrow morning. Then there could be a few lingering showers just east of D.C. into central Maryland tomorrow afternoon. But the rest of us will just have very cloudy skies that will eventually give way to a bit of sunshine and then pretty clear skies overall as we go Saturday night into our Sunday morning. So as we continue along, like I mentioned, rainfall totals anywhere on the order. If you go down into northern Virginia and southern Maryland to about three quarters to an inch total, and then those totals will dissipate off quite a bit as you head northwest, likely not even picking up a tenth of an inch in some locations across western Maryland and the eastern panhandle. So that's our setup today. Again, the heaviest rain will still be to our south as the remnants of beta continue offshore. And as that exits tomorrow, we'll have those early morning showers. Otherwise, we're going to have the clouds clearing and giving way to a bit of sunshine. The second day of your weekend, though, looks pretty nice overall. Sunday, partly cloudy skies, warmer than today and tomorrow, both back into those lower 80s. But then we start to take a dive with those temperatures later on into early next week. We'll have those daily rain chances, scattered showers and storms even Monday through Wednesday, clearing out Thursday, and those temperatures start to cool back down once again.